songs would have to be his current single called The Thunder Rolls. It sure made a big boom when it debuted all the way up to number 25 on the Radio and Records chart. That, by the way, was the highest debut for a country single in R&R history. But something you may not know is that Garth isn't the first artist to record The Thunder Rolls. In fact, the original version became the first song picked up for Garth as a songwriter. Well, we talked with Garth and co-writer Pat Alger and one of country's loveliest vocalists who made a bolt for the song long before Garth ever recorded it. Before Garth Brooks began striking the top of the charts as a performer, he made his living as a demo artist and songwriter. In 1989, Tanya Tucker and her producer, Jerry Crutchfield, searched for two new songs to add to her greatest hits package. A song written by Garth and Pat Alger titled The Thunder Rolls caught their fancy. I love them. In fact, we even wanted to cut it, too. We got to it first, and I didn't, and I don't know, my producer, I guess, just didn't, didn't like the way it came off or whatever the reason. And we did do another verse. They wrote an extra verse where I actually do kill him. I mean, I say it, you know, in the song. I get my gun and I shoot him, you know? <laughs> Crutchfield calls us. He says, I love the song, guys. He goes, it isn't finished. I want to know what happens. So we got together and wrote a third verse, which goes, uh, she runs back down the hallway and through the bedroom door, reaches for the pistol kept in the dresser drawer, tells the lady in the mirror, um, he won't do this again. Tonight will be the last time she'll wonder where he's been. And the thunder rolls. The song didn't make the lineup of Tanya's album, but it made an impact on Tanya. <laughs> and, I, and I really liked the song. I, I, I'd like to go back in the studio and listen to it just to see the difference. One night live, out here in concert, I just looked back at the band. I said, follow me. And we put the third verse in. The crowd went just scary nuts. And I got a rush off that feeling. <laughs> I said, this song's got to have that. And it's live. Yeah, it's chilling. So when I'm sitting there on the bus thinking, my God, now how do I get this back? Because I love that third verse, but my audio recorded has only two. I said, boom, the video. That's how I'll get it back. Bad choice. <laughs> the music video of the Thunder Rolls didn't get a warm reception from TNN or CMT, but Garth's demo of the song struck a chord with Tanya. But I tell you one thing, is when I heard the, the song on the demo, I said, who is this guy singing? I said, man, y'all better get on, better jump on this, because this guy is great. And of course, then wasn't too long after that, the Capitol Records signed him up as an artist. I thought, well, see there, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, see, she should be a talent scout, of Maybe. course. Now, we want to point out that we tried to get our hands on Tanya's version of the Thunder Rolls, but apparently, since it didn't make Tanya's album, mm -hmm. it got lost in one of the Capitol Records vaults in Los Angeles. In, in there somewhere, we just can't find It'll it. It'll surface one of these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah 